everybody. Happy birthday to you. Itsy Bitsy Toy Review. Boy, have we got a treat for you today. Jordan and I, we have been told that there are dinosaur eggs in our backyard. What dinosaur eggs? You have a mystery like. And that's the, that's the magic of the mysteries. We have no idea what to expect back there. What? What? <laughs> Exactly, we could have some scary ones like the Tyrannosaurus Rex or the Raptor even, who knows? But you know what, if they eat, but a lot of dinosaur bones are from, like, because they kill them. Yeah, they, well, they went extinct millions of years ago, right? Yeah, because they bite them and then their skins come out and then they And they die. turn to bones, yeah. <laughs> well, and well, we've got our uh, Spider-Man... Uh, bucket ready to go, which yeah. which was otherwise reserved for Halloween, right? Yeah, but but, but we're gonna use it for the dinosaur eggs next. Hey, I think that's a good idea. Hey, yeah. you know what? Let's go to the backyard and see what we can dig up. Yeah. All right. Jordan, so here we are in the backyard, and this is the sandbox. There is a total of twelve dinosaur eggs in this box. Wow. Let's see if we can find them. Jordan, dig in. Keep digging. Keep digging. There's dinosaur eggs in here oh, somewhere. I think I. There, oh, there's the first one. The first dinosaur egg. Oh, I think I found one again. You another one? Yeah. That's two. So easy to find them. Told you, they're in there. Don't worry. Hey, I think I found one. Got one? Oh, number three. Three eggs now. Yeah. Wait. I think I found another one. Oh, number four. There you go. We need eight more eggs. Keep going. I'll try it here again. I see another one here. You got one? Whoa, that's five. <laughs> hey, I think I found one. Look, guys, look. You got one? Yeah, look. Oh, look at that. Look at that. And look at that. They just turned pink. Cut yeah. the color. That's because they've been buried for millions of years. Who knows? <laughs> we got six now. Okay. Keep it going. Oh, false alarm. Look. Oh, I see it. Yeah, get it out. Whoa. There it is. Whoa. I think I found one. Look. You got one? Yeah, look. Go away. Very cool. There you go, number eight. Wow. Come on, Indiana Jordan. Let's look for number nine here. He has a gun, though. He has a gun. True. He also has a whip. Yeah. Okay. The whip is what really makes him cool. Apart from the hat, maybe. But, yeah. <laughs> oh, there's one. What? I see it. Oh. Yes. Okay, number nine. Okay, you know how many we need, then, if you got nine and you just need... 12? How many more do you need? Uh, three. You need three more. Very good. Okay, have a look. Got one? Oh, you got one. There it is, number 10. Number 10. Hey, I can see one's tail. Is this tail? Is that the dinosaur's tail sticking out? All right, let's put it in. We've got number 10 now. We need two more, Jordan. To make 12. To make 12, and then we can start cracking them open to see what dinosaurs are inside. That's gonna be the best part, I think. <laughs> oh, you got one. Whoa. What number is that, Jordan? 11. 11. So we just need one more. We need one more, and then we can crack these open and see what dinosaurs are inside. Give it a go, Jordan. Let's see what you can find. Got it? Not yet. Oh! Oh, we got it! Twelve! Yay! Oh, you got twelve. Hold it up. Number twelve. We managed to get twelve dinosaur eggs. There, you see them there? Twelve. Yeah. Twelve. We dug up. Sand pit here. 
But guess what the best part is? You want to tell us? Open the up. Opening the eggs and seeing what awesome dinosaurs are inside. Okay, let's go inside. Okay, let's do it. All right, so we're back inside. We just excavated 12 dinosaur eggs. Here's our excavation guide. So folks, I just want to apologize ahead of time. I may not know how to pronounce the names of these beautiful dinosaurs. They're, some of them are pretty outrageous. Uh, so I'll do my best and uh, we'll get the spelling up there for you on the screen as well for sure. Oh, here we go. It's trying to chip away. You just gotta... That's part of the fun, I suppose. Hey, you see the mouth. If I had to guess... I think that's a... That... That's a triceratops! You think so? Yeah. It's very possible. Oh, you're right. Jordan called it. He said it. this is a triceratops. Oh. You don't want I got him. Look at that. That is... There it is, folks. The first one, the Triceratops. The triceratops means three-horned dinosaur. That's how it got its name. And it used its bony beak and 800 small teeth to eat small plants. So we'll put that over here. That's our first discovery. So they're a bit of a challenge to get out, but that just makes the anticipation greater, makes it more exciting in a way, I think. Here he is. Don't break him though. No. Need chisel. Very close now. Oh, what is that? Got a long neck, this guy. The Apatosaurus was one of the largest land animals that ever lived. So an adult Apatosaurus could weigh up to 45 tons. That's as much as five adult elephants. What happened to the, to the eggs? <laughs> Are they okay, so folks, we just realized that if you wet the egg, you might, it'll be easier to chisel away at. It creates, a, see how, you can already see it, like the texture becomes a little more muddy. Oh, look who we got. Here we go. A T-Wex. Who's that? Who's that? Hey, that's a T-Wex. No, this is, it looks like it, because it's upright like a T-Rex. This dinosaur only weighed about 100 pounds and was only three feet tall. Jordan, this is basically your height, this guy in real life. Can you believe that? Yeah. They, uh, well, he's about the same size as a dog, a, a, a dog that was standing upright. Thick, deined skull. It may have used, it was probably used for fighting. Jordan's still trying to get to his through his first egg. I'm so sorry, Jordan. You'll get there. Oh, who's that? There's something red in here. I think that's a tail. I don't know. Keep going, keep going. Alright, here we go. Let's see. I can't wait. You're so oh. strong, Dad. Well, when it's wet like that, it's much easier. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Jordan, you know what this is? That is an ank ankylosaurus. Yeah, he used uh, his weapon as a tail, as a banger. It bangs the dinosaur. Yeah, and he was covered in thick, bony plates that helped him, that helped keep him safe from other dinosaurs. He loved plants, so this guy was a tough dude who just liked plants. He was a he was a vegetarian. He doesn't like meat though. Oh, I can already see what dinosaur that is. Yeah. Parasaurolophus. I hope I said that correctly. It's not easy to say. Uh, this dinosaur had an oddly shaped head and... Sorry, he's hungry. And he had a duck bill too. He, uh, the long crest on his head made a sound. He's eating right now. He's hungry. Like. He's hungry right now, is he, huh? Jordan, this is your first dinosaur that you were able to, <laughs> you were able to excavate. Okay, let's keep going. Oh, here we go. Whoa. This one is the Gigantosaurus. Look. 
Not to be confused with the Tyrannosaurus Rex, this one. Uh, it actually means giant southern lizard. It was a gigantic predator, and it was taller and actually longer than the T-Rex. So one of these could actually run up to 30 miles an hour, which is pretty fast for a big guy like this. Yeah, he could run fast. Oh, I got him! Got him? There he is! This is him. Yeah, that's him with the... With the mohawk. Yeah, the mohawk. He is the Coriathosaurus. So this dinosaur <laughs> was duck billed also and used the crest on its head to create a low noise. So scientists think it may have sounded like a trombone. That's interesting. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. This looks like a Stegosaurus. There he is, the Stegosaurus. This is a very peaceful dinosaur. It had spikes on, on, on its tail that probably helped protect it from other animals. The plates on its back might have helped the dinosaur keep warm or even cool. All right, so we've got uh, eight dinosaurs unearthed already. And there we go, the Tyrannosaurus Rex. What if the leaders of the dinosaurs? That's the T-Rex, the, the, the most well-known of the dinosaur. The dinosaur, it was actually one of the most ferocious predators ever. It had a huge mouth and, a, and giant sharp teeth that measured 6 to 12 inches long. Imagine that, 12 inch teeth, Jordan. Can you imagine that? Yeah. This guy, I would not mess with him. Forget it. I'm running for the hills if I see a T-Rex. Oh, that was a nice big chunk right there. There's another one. Hey, I got him out. There he is. The Plesiosaur. Plesiosaur. This giant marine reptile used its flippers and tail to swim the seas during the age of the dinosaur. Anyway, this other, this was a, this was a carnivore, I guess? It would take a bite without having to get too close because it had a long neck. We've almost finished our 12. This is really cool. I could already see his body. Look at that, Dad, look. You're almost there, aren't you? Oh, look, I see a head. I see a head. There he is, the Spinosaurus. There he is. Very cool. This is one of the only dinosaurs that could swim in water. And when it when swimming, it breathed through holes high up on its nose and paddled with its webbed feet. So this guy could go in the water. Yeah, the last egg, and I know who he is. There he is. That is the Oranosaurus. This dinosaur had a huge sail on its back. Ah! He wanted to fight. So guess how much the, the Oranosaurus weighed, Jordan? 8,000 pounds. Okay, so this was the box it came in. That's your dig and discover dinosaur eggs. Yeah, there he goes. So, and that, there's your list. It gives you a background of each dinosaur. A lot of great, uh, a lot of great information there. A lot of learning involved with this toy. Hey, Jordan. Thumbs up or thumbs down? Thumbs up, baby. This is a cool, fun, educational toy. But Jordan doesn't care about the educational aspect. He just wants to play and, and let them fight each other. Look there at goes, him. Yeah, see, there he goes. T-Rex versus Triceratops and all of the above. Ha ha ha. Hey, Jordan, say bye to everyone. Bye. Bye-bye.